Hello, my name is Pete Gerlach. I have been a professional family systems therapist for 32 years and an avid student of human behavior for almost 75 years. One of the things I've observed in my clients and in people in general is that there is a vexing type of relationship dynamic that often people don't understand well and they don't know how to relate to it or what to do about it. This video uh, is a brief exploration into this dynamic. It's called an approach avoid relationship. The symptoms of this is, uh, or are, um, two people become interested in each other, uh, either intellectually or romantically, and they start to develop a closeness over time. They spend time with each other, they enjoy each other, they like to find out more about each other, and generally they begin to trust that it's safe to reveal more and more about themselves. So it can be said <clears throat> that such a couple approach each other. They get closer and closer and develop more and more intimacy, um, intellectual, emotional, spiritual, perhaps physical. Then something happens to one of the partners. Um, for no particular reason, no discernible reason, uh, one of the partners starts to pull back. Um, doesn't explain why. And it leaves the other partner bewildered and confused, like, why are you moving away? Why don't you answer my phone calls? Why do you cut our visits short? Um, why do you sort of clam up? Why don't we talk the way we used to talk? Um, there's a variety of ways, but there is a sense of distance that suddenly develops. Um, this phase of this relationship dynamic is uh, <coughs> called the avoidance phase. Then over time, the person who has backed away starts to again long for a closer relationship with this other person and they start to approach again. They make more phone calls, they invite more time together, uh, they may uh, invite more physical closeness or conversational closeness. And so the first person is left feeling puzzled, like first you want to be close to me, then you back away and you don't want to be close to me, and then you want to be close to me again. What, what is going on here? This leaves a vague or sharp sense of distrust and confusion as opposed to serenity and calmness. And this cycle can repeat several different times or the person who backs away and then reapproaches can do this cycle with several different partners. The, d the details are different, but uh, the cycle is the same. Closeness and then distance. What explains this? Um, I've become convinced in the last 22 years uh, that all normal human personalities are composed of so-called subselves or parts, like the members of an orchestra or a sports team. Uh, each part has a specialty. Some bring certain emotions, some bring talents, some bring awarenesses and intellectual skills, <clears throat> so we're each a gang of talented subcells, and all together they determine our behavior. Approach avoid relationships can be explained using this idea of subcells. For instance, some subcells among most people, not all, long for a degree of intimacy with other people, often of the opposite gender, not always. I want to have friends, I want to have close connections, I want to have a partner. I sure would love to have a primary partner. How normal is that? Have you experienced those needs, that longing? Have you in fact achieved a close intimate relationship with someone? Or do you wish you could? As certain parts of the personality um, motivate person A to get close to person B, to, to trust, take more risks and uh, disclose more about yourself, your past, your dreams, your fears, your future, 
your hopes and who you really are, as parts of you cause you to do that, and the other person responds, uh, perhaps, with equal uh, self-disclosure and moving towards mutual intimacy, other parts of the first person become frightened because in their early years, the real person has experienced devastatingly painful abandonment by key people in their lives, usually parents. <clears throat> so what's happening here is a number of controlling subcells say, uh, let's get close. And when a certain point of closeness is achieved, other parts of the person activate. They go from quiet to active. And they say, oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. We're getting too close. We're enjoying this too much. We're depending too much on this relationship. And you know what? This other person is going to abandon us. And it is really going to hurt. So we better back off and stop being so dependent and so close. It's not safe. So this second group of subcells causes the person to back away and, quote, avoid. As they do that, the fearful ones calm down, and the other set of subcells who long for closeness, companionship, intimacy, friendship, love, etc., the other set of subcells gain dominance, and they say, oh, gee, but it was so good, and let's do it again. We can do it, okay? It will be all right. And the person then starts to approach and invite more closeness and intimacy. If the person is unaware of their subselves and this kind of group A, group B approach avoid uh, dynamic that goes on unconsciously, people are not aware of this. <clears throat> Externally, their behavior can be really confusing and, and appear to send a double message, uh, which can be summarized as, I really like you, go away. I love you, leave me alone. Um, how confusing is that? And people try often, instinctively, they try to use logic to overcome this uh, process, which is doomed to failure because approach avoid is caused by unawareness of the dynamics of your personality subcells, who they are, what they need, and how they interact. Does this concept make sense to you? No, it's okay. If it doesn't make sense to you, how do you uh, explain this common experience of approach avoid? Um, if you are in an approach avoid relationship, what can you do? <clears throat> uh, the first thing you can do is study lesson one in my YouTube videos and the related free nonprofit educational website called Break the Cycle. Lesson one will raise your awareness and understanding of normal personality subcells, just like yours and perhaps like any partner of yours who is confusing you. Learn to understand your subcells, then check to see if you have inherited by accident some psychological wounds from your ancestors. Other Lesson 1 videos explain what these wounds are and what they mean when they cause approach-avoid dynamics. So meet your subcells, understand your wounds if you have any, and Lesson 1 also shows you a very practical way of reducing your wounds. One of the things that will accomplish over time is you will be less attracted to other psychologically wounded people. Because at least in my experience as a therapist studying relationships for many years, people who are wounded, whom I call grown wounded children, because uh, the wounds occur in early childhood, grown wounded children or GWCs are mysteriously attracted to each other. So if you are a GD GWC, and you are really attracted to another GWC, they are apt to have these two sets of subcells that do approach avoid. Uh, if that occurs to you, you can do several things. First, 
treat this other person with compassion, not scorn, not hurt, not anger, because they really cannot control their behavior unless they decide to learn about their subselves and study lesson one. So I hope this video has at least offered you some degree of clarity <clears throat> on why you, or perhaps people you know, experience this um, stressful, vexing, confusing dynamic uh, called approach avoid uh, behaviors. Uh, this video is part of a collection of similar videos in lesson four. Lesson four is how to improve your relationships. There's a lot of material there. So let me offer you two different links if you wish to study this further. Uh, here is a link to my other Lesson 4 videos, which will give you a synopsis, a summary, of the much larger body of information in Lesson 4 articles in my nonprofit website. Um, here is a link to a lesson, a self-improvement lesson, called uh, Lesson 4, which will give you a great deal of useful information about all the relationships between your subcells and between you and all other people, including children. So, uh, summarize, to summarize, approach avoid relationships are puzzling, stressful, and confusing. I'm offering the idea that they are caused by personality subcells. Um, you can learn to understand this and to behave uh, accordingly when you're in the midst of an approach avoid relationship and gain more serenity and more confidence and help your partner do the same. Uh, I welcome any kind of feedback on this video or any other and on my website. Uh, I wish you enjoyable relationships inside your skin and outside and I thank you for watching this video. Thanks.